Hello. Today I'm going to expose and shame one of the most beloved pieces of household technology and certainly one of my all-time top five kitchen accessories, not including white goods or radios. I'm talking about the toaster and I'm annoyed at it because a Pop-Tart jammed in my ejector mechanism this morning which made me angry and hungry. Hungry and angry, which is not a good combination. My problem's not strictly with the toaster, but rather toaster manufacturers in general. Granted, I probably shouldn't have gone for a personal best of jamming five Pop-Tarts in the same slot, but the toaster was very clearly marked, jam-free and foolproof on the box. So they've not only broken my breakfast, they've called me a fool. And it isn't only my toaster. I've just spent one of my less exhilarating mornings this week picking through hundreds of toaster spec sheets, and they're all full of ludicrous claims. Bosch boasts that its two-sliced toaster gives breakfast a touch of contemporary class. Toast? Contemporary? Come on, it's been a breakfast staple for centuries. Everybody knows that man's greatest inventions are, in order, sliced bread, fire, toast, the wheel, and reggae reggae sauce. A contemporary breakfast would be a genetically modified tofu and wheatgrass smoothie vaporised and inhaled through ozone or something. Tefal aren't any better. They claim their range of Avanti toasters are probably the most popular toasters in most family homes and also feature regular appearances on TV soaps including EastEnders and Hollyoaks. Well, first of all, there are far too many probablys and mosts in there to make it anything like a certifiable fact. And secondly, I don't watch Hollyoaks, but judging from the adverts, there are much prettier things to look at than the toasters. Also, who cares? Do they honestly think that when little Mo finally stood up to her wife-beating husband by caving his head in with a steam iron, we were all thinking, ooh, look at that lovely Avanti four slice, dimly lit and out of focus in the back left-hand corner of the shop. I bet that's probably popular in most family homes. If anything, it was a plug for steam irons. Posh shiny gadget peddlers Duelit brag that their two-slice model operates at up to 65 slices per hour. Now, I like toast, but 65 slices an hour? What do these people think we're doing of a morning? I don't run a toast shop. I'd have to eat 1.08 slices of toast a minute to push that thing to its operating capacity. Just imagine what all that fibre would do to a man's body. What better way to add colour and style to your kitchen? Asks Prestige of their Deco Red Toaster. Well, let's see. You could paint the walls, change the worktops, put some fancy handles on the drawers and cupboards, fit a coloured light bulb, eat 1.08 slices of fibre-filled toast every hour. All of those would have vastly more impact on the look of your kitchen than changing the little box in the corner that makes bread go hot. And that's sort of my point. Stop trying to wow us with how it might make us feel or fit in with our lifestyles or help us alter the aesthetic and feng shui of the room with the cooker in. All we want is something that sits there quietly in the corner, cooking bread and Pop-Tarts without jamming or burning them. Like that. You, that's awkward. That one's worked. Just, just get it.